Okay, next we'll be uh, going to the move tool. If I hold on the W key and left mouse click, I get refraction object, which is the same thing as if I double click the move tool. You open the tool settings, let me close the tool setting. And if I double click on it, you see here I have object, world, local. If I hold on the W key over the viewport and left click on it, I get uh, it's very similar to it. Like that. Okay, so right here you see refraction up there, which is if I go down here. I see reflection down here, right there. Okay, so W, left click. For the rotate tool, which is, okay, the move tool will be W. The rotate tool will be uh, E. Hold down E and left click on it. I get uh, very similar to what bef I had before. Okay, so same thing like this. Hit select that. Or press the little R. This is a little R. And hold down left mouse and you get that. Okay. Next will be the T. Okay, let me exit the component mode. Press the T. If you don't see anything, which is right here, the manipulator tool. Okay, so let's say I create, go up here and create light. And I choose a spotlight. Okay, let me hit uh, the move tool or the W key. Let me move the light up, back. I press 5 on my keyboard. So now if I press this key, show manipulate tool. Okay, another way to do it would be to press the letter T on your keyboard. Okay, so let's say if I go back, press T, show manipulate tool. Okay. So here I can aim it down to wherever the sphere is. And if I hold down V as in Victor, I can move it and snap it to the and CV is the vertex like that. If I want to uh, snap it to the uh, edge, first of all, let me go into shading, wireframe and shade it. Okay, so now if I zoom in, if I hold down V, I can snap it to the vertex. If I hold down C, as in cat, I can snap it to the curve right there. Okay, you move it over the edge and you hold down C, and then now you can snap it to the edge. Okay. So next would be uh, this tool right here, the universal manipulate. To get that one, you hold on. Uh, let's say I select the object, I hit Control T, and so now I have uh, the uh, the uh, show manip uh, the universal manipulator tool. And remember from the previous video, if I click, click on one the icon and move it along this edge, that's how I can uh, resize it. If I move it along this edge. This edge right here, I can resize that, and the same thing up and down. Okay, so now if I click on this one, I rotate it, it will be along this edge. If you hold on shift and click the that, you would be rotating around the, the center part of it. Okay, another thing is if I click this icon and hold on shift, see how I'm going t into this corner right here, like that. So if I hold on control shift, I will be going to the opposite corner. Okay, control shift, drag that, like that. So now, however, it won't work with the, the rotate. It's always be the same thing like that. Okay, whether I hold on control or not. Like that. Next, also uh, for the move tool, what you can do is this over here where it said if I can find it okay discrete move okay if I hold on letter J as in uh, John J see how it enable hold on J you don't have to hold on left mouse just hold on J and you snap that what I can do is I can move it by uh, how many increment so if I move it it snaps to how many increment if let's say I type in 5 let me check marker and hit so now if I hold on J see now I can move it like that ok let me uncheck it and hold on J so now it will snap every 5 grid now, same thing with rotate if I hold on J right there a discrete rotate it will rotate to how many degrees ok 
same thing with the uh, R which is the scale tool and then uh, if I with the R scale tool or R selected hold on J so now I can scale by how many increment well right now it's only one so you don't see a difference like that okay uh, shift J would be to check mark this one but again to be honest I never use this so this to me is not very important okay and the next one would be uh, I already talked about T Y would be this one right here which is um, whichever last tool that you use so let's say the last one I, uh, I created let's say here let me go into the set tool then I'm going to create a cube click and drag click and drag so now the last tool I used was the, the cube okay so if I press the letter Y will be the last command which is the same thing as the letter G for example right now if I press G on my keyboard go back optimal press G so now I can draw the same thing Y and G are to me is, would be the same thing okay next would be uh, if you hold down right mouse over these guys you get uh, so many different pop-up okay choices so the next thing would be uh, let's go over the viewport okay now let's start with the basics uh, if I tap the spacebar I can switch over to full viewport tap the spacebar which over whichever the mouse is uh, placed over mouse cursor tap the spacebar okay so if I'm on this one I'm, I don't see sometimes I don't see difference if I click this then I see it okay now next one is hold down out left mouse would be to rotate out middle mouse pan out right mouse would be the dolly now you can get the same thing if you go up here to general right here if I click this icon I can only rotate it click this icon I would be panning it this icon would be dolly this icon however is a zooming okay zooming is different from dolly without dolly you would be moving the camera forward and backward zooming is where you change the uh, go to the camera lens okay um let me go into section two now this is undo to do undo you, you press the letter z as in zebra right there if you want to redo you hold on shift z it comes back which is the same thing as this one okay Next would be, uh, let me show you um, this menu right here. To turn them on or off, you hold down Shift M. See now they're gone. So if I press Shift M again, now they come back. Okay. Now if you want to hide this menu up here, you hold down Control M. Okay. Sometimes what I do is so I right click over uh, the viewport, just right click over it, Control M. Okay, so um, to um, to enable this menu, hold on Shift M. Okay, there it goes, disappear. Shift M again, it goes away. If you want to hide these guys right here, you can uh, you hold on Control Shift M, right there. Okay, if you want to hide hide this menu right here, you have to hold on Control M. But since I'm using recording software, it won't work. Okay, Control M. If I press Control M, it won't go away. Okay. Well, if you don't have a recording software, you just use my running, then it should work. Like that. Another thing would be uh, Alt B, as in boy, Alt B to change the background color. Like that, Alt B, Alt B, like that. Okay, so now let's say you want to maximize this window. First of all, let's say if you have four viewport open right here. To maximize, you press tap the spacebar. Okay, make sure you right click over uh, whichever window. Right click and tap spacebar, and maximize it. Now, if I want to maximize even more, hold down control spacebar, makes it even more. Control uh, shift M to hide that menu. Let me show you again shift M right here, this menu right here. And then if I want to hide this icon, I hit uh, control shift M. And if it control M, these guys should go away. But since uh, I'm recording using recording software, it will not go away. Okay, so control shift M. And to go back to uh, regular mode, control spacebar. 
like that. Now let me create an object. Press 5 and F. Okay, now let's say I right click and choose vertex. Let's say I pick only one vertex. I can view closer by pressing F. Okay, if I want to view even closer, what you do is you hold down Control Alt and drag like this. Okay. Now you zoom in really close. If I do again, like that, the smaller the uh, rectangle I draw, the more it zooms in. Like that. Okay. So if I want to zoom out, hold down Control Alt and do the opposite way. Okay. So if I make a big rectangle like this, it will zoom out only a little bit. But if I do just a little small uh, rectangle, it will zoom out. Like that. Okay. So let's say if I zoom out so far away and I don't know where the object is, okay, I can press either F, comes back in. Okay, let's say I have um, nothing selected, right click, choose object. Let's say right now I have nothing selected, let's say I zoom out really far and I press A, nothing happened. Sometimes it doesn't come back, what you do is you go into, um, <coughs> what you do is you go into the uh, outliner. You check, make sure that you will have you, that you have an object. You select it, and then you press F on your keyboard. It will come back. Okay. And then the next one would be right here the um, uh, compass. I can right click over uh, the the house or the box, and I get this menu, which is the same thing as, as if I click this little icon right here, like that. Okay. So now let's say I have my open right here, and I want to switch to to different. Uh, angle let's say I move it really far away and move it up here next is I'm going to move it over here then I decide to move down here and I rotate look from underneath and last let's say I move it over here and let's say I zoom in really close okay so now to go back to the different angles what you do is you press the bracket key the bracket key is going to locate to the right of the P as in Paul okay you press the left bracket See how it goes back to different angles. It's called different uh, snapshot or bookmarks, which is the same thing as right here. This is right here. But you don't need to click on this icon. It will my way remember where, wh whichever angle that you move to. If I uh, press the right bracket key, it goes forward. Like that. It's almost like redo and undo. Okay. And then it goes back like that. So. Okay, another way to, I can uh, hold on out, right mouse, will be to dolly in, out left mouse will be like this, out uh, middle mouse will be to do this, the panning. Another way to do this will be to hold down the uh, backward slash, which is uh, right below the backspace key, backward slash, if you hold on that, press it once, you see right here, the name, okay, if I want to disable, I, I press again, enable. So now that since it's enabled, what you do is you hold down that key, the back uh, slash, and you right mouse click. You can uh, dolly in and out. If I hold down that key and middle mouse, that's how I can pan around. Now you can't rotate with this uh, key, okay? To uh, disable the key, you press that backspace key again. Now let's go back. Now I have to use the alt key, alt left mouse, alt middle mouse, alt right mouse. Okay, that's another way to uh, to do it. Okay, I'm running out of time, uh, so I will continue the rest of my. And thank you for watching.